Hey, welcome back. Tom Hanks has left the building, but my next guest is an extremely funny comedian. He's a regular at the Gothic Comedy Club in New York City. Please welcome the extremely talented and adorable Phil Hanley, everybody. Phil Hanley. <laughs> Hey, everybody. You're about to experience a great four minutes of comedy. <laughs> I had a uh, huge problem with high school bullies on my way to the show tonight. <laughs> People meet me, they often ask me if I'm a vegetarian, which is a creative way of saying, hey, you look pale and weak. <laughs> I don't have uh, very manly legs. Like, I never wear shorts. At best, I would describe my legs as unisex. <laughs> Sometimes people say, well, you should just wear long shorts. But what they're really saying is, hey, you know what's more masculine than your legs? Capris. <laughs> I used to live with my ex-girlfriend, and I thought we'd be together for the rest of our lease. Once we were babysitting my two-year-old nephew, and he grabbed her breast. And I was shocked, because I don't know a lot about kids. Like, is that normal, or was he just trying to diss me? <laughs> she was fine. She said that because there's a 25-year age difference, it was cute. And I thought, I'll remember that when I'm 50. <laughs> She was, uh, she was really bad at expressions. Like once I told my ex-girlfriend a joke and she said, that flew way past my head. <laughs> I corrected her, I said, no, that went over your head. And she accused me of Nick picking. <laughs> picking Nicks. And I almost corrected her again, but I decided just to leave it, you know? Let pylons be pylons. <laughs> I find uh, people glorify being single because they say you can sleep with anyone you want, but you can actually only sleep with anyone who wants to sleep with you. <laughs> it's a very different number. <laughs> Sometimes I'll be on a date with a girl and she will ask me about my last relationship. She'll want to know who broke up with who. And I say, well, if I broke up with her, I wouldn't be crying and we wouldn't be parked in front of her house. <laughs> I don't kiss on the first date, ever, because I think women should be happy with just sex. Sometimes uh, I'll be with a girl and she will tell me that I don't have to wear a condom and that's the best way to get me to wear a condom. <laughs> My friend uh, asked me if I would be comfortable marrying a woman that makes more money than me and I said I wouldn't be comfortable otherwise. <laughs> He said, so she'll wear the pants. And I said, yeah, and I'll wear the capris. <laughs> Sometimes uh, when you're a comedian, you get to sleep with an audience member. <laughs> Something you'll have to decide amongst yourselves. <laughs> it happened to me recently, and it was really exciting. And then right before the sex process started, she said, what do you want me to do? And what I was thinking was, just don't change your mind. <laughs> but what I said is what I always say before I start. You're about to experience a great four minutes of comedy. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Yes, that's right. That was awesome. Thank you. 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 Thank you.